Hey guys, welcome back to a new video of how to make a Baldi's Basics mod. In the last episode, we did it. We figured out how to change the textures. Um, just ignore the shared assets. Wait, is this the right file? Yeah, it is. Just ignore that shared assets in one file. It'll be used for another episode. So, if you're watching this video right now, so let's do a recap, even though I already did one. So, in the last episode, we figured out how to change the wall texture. I'll pull up a video clip. Actually, never mind. First things first, I want to give a quick shout out to my friend ONGFL Productions. Go subscribe to his channel. Link in the description. Anyways, um, we're going to be learning on how to change sounds in, in a Baldi's Basics game. Now then, uh, now then, um, as I said in the, the description of my last video, I said that part two was going to be a sound-related episode, so let's begin. So number one, you'll have to get... Well, obviously, you'll have to pull out your Baldi mod you're using. I entirely recommend that all of these is, um... All of the... That every single part is finished, you can work on your Baldi mod. However, it's up to you. You'll need Unity X, which I'll link in the description. Now, it's important to note that it is not in the... It, that this entire way is not similar. However, it is optional that you can use UABE. However, um, I don't really recommend it as you can't change sounds in it. However, you can use the sounds for modification. Considering that they're WAV files. Which is very important. The files might, must be .WAV. Not MP3s, as they won't work. You'll want to open your Unity X. Just for this video, we're only going to be doing... We're... No, my Baldi mod tutorial's not here. Is this it? Yeah, this is it. So, what you're going to... So, for this video, I'm only going to be doing the title screen. So, number one, so ignore the rest of these. You'll want to go down to where it says audio clip. Now then, right click it and press these two ones. These are what I would usually do. Press export with convert and export selected. After you got all of that, you must head into your Baldi data. A new file will appear called Unity Asset Files. There's Shared Assets 1. These are AU format sounds, but those are not what's important. So go into Sounds. Sounds? There should be a file called Sounds. Go into here, click res underscore shared assets one dot resource, and then there is your audio files. They're SF. No, there's, yeah, they're SFB files. Now then, you must record. Now then, we're just going to change a sound. We're going to change the baldy, bald, ball underscore main menu. So I'm going to go record a audio real quick. Now then, I got myself the audio file. This is what it sounds like. This is a testing for a, for this video. So yeah, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Anyways, anyways, um, not really, rec not really important, but rename it to, this is what I'm gonna do. So, you must copy what you're gonna change. Cop copy this. You must include the dot SND. It's not really gonna do anything, but it's required. Do this. Rename. Alrighty, let's go find our file. Show in file. 
and then copy it. Now then, now then, the one we have here is a MP3 file. So yeah, after that, um, I'm just gonna open another version of my of the mod we're working on. We're gonna create a new folder called called audio. And then drop it in here. You see, this one is a M4A file. We'll have to convert it into a WAV file. I'll link the site in the comments, but I use this. Now then, let's go get ourselves that file that we need. There we go. Let's let's play it real quick to see if it's the right one. Day testing for a for this video, so yeah, make sure to subscribe to the channel. There we go. It works. Now then, before we press save, we must press wave. This works with any other sound. Keep that in mind. So save it. All we'll have to do is. We'll just open open it back up. So, so yeah, let's head back into audio test. Now then, what I'm gonna do is. No, I did not want to do that. I did not want to play it. What I'm gonna do is copy the original name of the file, paste it in here. And now this is what you have to do. So go back. So if unless you closed it, go back to your Unity asset file. Go back into sounds and here. Paste it in, but remove it. Remove the SFB file. After that, do not close this, but do not close Unity X, by the way. Press import files. And then boot up your game to see if it works. This is a testing for, a, for this video, so yeah, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for sticking around for this tutorial. This is Ethan Productions here. See you guys in the next video. Goodbye.